I'm AJ Swintek here with Mankato Moondogs field manager Danny Nealon. Danny, we have plenty to unpack. Let's start with your All-Stars. The Moondogs were honored with two in Matthew Fleischacker and Grant Garza. What have you seen from those two amongst a really good group that made them stand out? Yeah, they're leaders in our clubhouse. Um, they've had fantastic summers so far. Um, starting with Matty, I mean, he's been super valuable for us. He plays everywhere in the infield. Um, you know, he played a lot of short right away until Cooper got here, and then. Um, he's moved over to second really well. He's had him over at third base. And he's probably been our most consistent hitter at the plate all year long. Um, you know, he doesn't hit, hasn't hit a, a home run or anything this year, um, but he hits the gaps very well. He shoots a lot of doubles, and he's got a ton of RBIs. He's very consistent. And Grant's been obviously locked down at the back end of the bullpen for us um, last summer and now this summer too. So it's really nice having a guy like that in the back end. Knowing that if you can get to the eighth or ninth inning of the lead, um, you're going to have a pretty good chance to win a ball game with him. Absolutely. And then let's talk about the road trip. It was five games in Dickinson, North Dakota. The dogs were able to take four. Everything was going well. What do you think really carried all the way up to North Dakota for this team? Yeah, we you know we went into it knowing it was going to be a lot of baseball, um, and you know came off a tough home series against Wilmer, and um, just went up there and, and just told the guys to relax a little bit and get lost in the moment of playing that much baseball. I think it was honestly probably good for us because uh, we didn't have a chance to really catch our breath. We just kept playing. Um, so and you know sometimes situations like that can help take the pressure off of guys because you just play and, and you don't even think about what you're doing. So super proud of the effort up there. Um, you know our our pitching staff rose to the occasion too and got us through a lot of baseball games. You know in those five games and then obviously again tonight. And the team obviously built off of those four road wins here this evening. It was a big win over the Larks. Really a team effort, 15 hits, plenty of runs to come with it. Peter Michael pitched really well. What all did you see that you liked as a field manager? Yeah, Peter was fantastic tonight. I was super proud of him and happy for him. He's um, done such a good job for us uh, the last two years. And, you know, he, he had his challenges last year, but uh, hit his stride at the end of the year, and he came back here and, um, has absolutely done a fantastic job. He, he dominated that long relief role for a while, and now he's going to have a chance to be a starter. And obviously in his first one, he was fantastic. So huge for him. And then offensively, yeah, it was great. Um, you know, we were hitting the ball. We had 15 hits, and we probably could have had 20 or 22, honestly, of some of the lineouts we had too. So awesome effort all around. And obviously, when everything's firing well like this, you want to continue to carry the momentum, still very alive in the second half race. What does this team look to do to sweep the Larks and just continue their success here tomorrow against the Yellowbirds? Yeah, it starts with a good pitching performance from Bryce Crabb tomorrow. Um, you know, he's been consistent for us in a lot of different roles, too, so he's going to get a chance to start tomorrow. Um, so looking forward to what he can do, and if we can just keep swinging it like we are offensively, I think we'll be in a decent, uh, decent spot. Absolutely. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.